Hello, how are you today? Sorry about the short notice uh, for the live today. I wasn't sure that I was going to be able to do it, uh, but I am. So I'll wait just a few minutes and see if anyone is able to get on. We've been having workers in our home uh, with jackhammers and all kinds of loud things. They are still here, but I think they're packing up their belongings. So um, we live in an older home. Hey, Tina, how are you? We live in an older home. Well, it was built in 68, so when you think of our age, it's not that old. But uh, over the last few years, we've had some problems with leaking when there's a hard rain. And uh, so that's happened a little bit over the last few years. And so we're having that problem fixed. And they had to um, go into the, we have a finished basement. They had to go into the back of that uh, and tear down a wall and build a, build a trench down into the dirt through the cement and put in a drain and a sump pump and hey and um, so we've been going mm -hmm. through that yesterday and today and I just didn't know if it was going to be quiet enough for me to do the Facebook live but I'm going to attempt it. If you hear things in the background, it's just those workers uh, getting packed up and ready to go. Uh, we've had kind of a, uh, uh, what happened is one worker, one tr crew comes in and tears everything out. Now we've had the crew that's come in and built the, the I call it a trench, I don't know what it is, the ditch with the sump pumps and covered it up with cement and now we have one more phase to go where the guy comes in and hopefully makes everything look like it used to look before. So I don't know when that will be, but uh, anyway. Today uh, I am probably the least prepared I've ever been as well, but we're going to try to get through several things. And I'm going to talk to you about the sweet ice cream uh, sweet. Uh, or let's see, it's the ice cream, I can't show you the book, so anyway, it's the ice cream corner sweet. And uh, this is really a pretty neat sweet. I played with it some last night. Uh, and so let's talk about what comes in the sweet. First of all is the sweet ice cream uh, stamp set, as well as the punch. So that comes as a bundle, the sweet ice cream bundle. And then uh, it has this ribbon. This is the Blackberry Bliss ribbon. And it's a striped ribbon and it is very, very pliable. It will be uh, uh, easy to tie a bow in. Uh, it's not going to be very bulky. It's a really good ribbon. And then uh, also part of this is the ice cream corner sprinkles. This would be good. I know I'm going to open this and they're going to go everywhere. No. Uh, but they're really tiny. They're uh, just as cute as they can be. And uh, I, they would be great for shaker cards or something like that. Uh, not sure what else I'm going to do with that. But... Anyway, these are the components, and then we have the designer paper, and this is what I love. Look at the vibrant colors that are in here. Uh, three sheets are this kind of blobs of color. Oh, they're just really pretty, and I'm going to show you in a minute how you can use those. So this is one side of the papers, and then... Let me flip it over, and you can see, well, I've been using it, you can see the other side of the papers, and uh, I'm really loving 
the green dots and this bliss diagonal stripe. And then this is perfect for your ice cream cones. So the paper is, is one of my favorites. I do love the colors. So let me show you all of the colors. One of the things that is not in our catalog this time is the list of colors uh, for each one. And this suite has a lot of colors. So let me pull in these and these. So you can see all that they have. Let me switch that one around so that it's in English. I put my labels all over my, uh, my uh, ink so that people will hopefully not mix up my inks. And I have fixed the other list, the other pile here. So here are the colors that are in this suite, the Blackberry Bliss, Terracotta Tile, Bumblebee, Bermuda Bay, Cinnamon Cider, and so Saffron, Pool Party, Petal Pink, Old Olive, and Soft Sea Foam. So you can see those are some, some beautiful colors, and 10 of them, that's a lot to work with. So I'm going to, to move those out of the way. And uh, this is a photopolymer set. I'm going to talk first about the popsicle. Uh, these are the two stamps, and it's a, a top and a bottom that kind of go together. And then you have the stick, which is this one. And here's the detail for the stick. Uh, you can put sprinkles on there or you could put little dots on there uh, to decorate those and then I think that this piece is to put on your popsicle so that it looks like it has those two sides you know when we were younger or maybe I guess they still have those popsicles that you can break in half uh, so that is supposed to be for that part of it so this would be more of the popsicle related things. And then also, let me point out, there's some really good words in here. A great big, giant, beautiful, happy birthday. Treat yourself, you melt my heart. Is that not cute? The, thank you, you're so cool. The sprinkles on top and hope it's sweet. And then you have these pieces for the ice cream cones. This is to decorate the inside of the cone. And then this piece right here is just a drop. Okay? And that reminds me that I was going to get some sponge daubers, but it tried to stay out of the way of the work, guys. I did not get them, but we'll talk about that anyway. So let me pull in a piece of paper that I worked on last night. And this is going to show some of the different color combinations that you could do with your popsicle uh, as you're making it. And I just, I just thought some of these were so cool and so pretty. Um, I'll label these a little bit later. But um, this one is the Terracotta Tile and Blackberry Bliss. And this one is Blackberry Bliss and stamped off Blackberry Bliss. Here we have the old olive and the soft sea foam. Here's your terracotta and um, bumblebee. Uh, no, that's not bumblebee, that's so saffron. Here's the so saffron with the old olive, the terracotta with the old olive, and this is bumblebee and so saffron. Uh, here I've got the uh, pool party and so saffron. Uh, here is the pool party in Bermuda Bay. I've done two of the, this is my favorite, I have to say, two of the Blackberry Bliss with the Bermuda Bay. And that is kind of showing you that you can determine how big your popsicle is by how close together you put those pieces. So you might decide you like it a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. 
and I love where the two colors overlap. That's really neat. Uh, and then this is the Blackberry Bliss with Old Olive. Uh, here is the Blackberry Bliss and Petal Pink. Uh, pool Party and Petal Pink. Uh, pool Party and Soft Sea Foam. This is the Petal Pink and Soft Sea Foam. I like that one a lot. Uh, here's Pool Party and Blackberry Bliss. So um, I will... Uh, label those and I'll take a picture and post those uh, somewhere on my blog or, or somewhere so that you can see those. But uh, there, the possibilities are endless with 10 colors to choose from and I just uh, picked a few. And let me just get the cinnamon cider and we'll finish a whole popsicle. Let me get the stick here. Let's see, I'll just do it on this one. And then we'll get the detail of the stick and put that on. So that's what your whole popsicle would look like. Now what I meant to do with the um, sponge dauber is add a little bit more color. I think uh, that uh, if you look at the paper of the popsicles, you can see how some of them are almost have three colors. And I thought for this one, it would be nice to get your sponge dauber and uh, go ahead and stamp this in your so saffron and then get a sponge dauber and daub some of the Bermuda Bay color around that. And that's just going to add another layer of color, if you can imagine what that would look like. And uh, see, and I'm, I'm trying to work with having enough light in here, too. Let me move that a little and see if it will work. So, um, anyway, there you go. And here I was going to stamp the... Um, the ice cream cone, and I realized that the ice cream cone is going to need a mask. So let me uh, pull some paper in here, and we'll do an ice cream cone with a couple of different uh, toppings to it. So I'm going to, let me move these stamps out of the way. So what I'm going to do is get some sticky notes and stamp an ice cream up here where the sticky part is going to be and just cut that out to make my mask. Now if you punch it out, it's really not going to work for the mask because you want that to be the same size as the stamped image. So. You really want to just make you one, and you want to cut right on that edge. Now, while I'm cutting this, I'm going to mention that I have seen online, this is not original, but that I have seen online that some people are going to use this punch for Mickey Mouse mm -hmm. shape. This would be Mickey's head, and that's his ears right there. I don't know, you might want to want to round that little part off a little bit so that the ears show a little bit better, but did you see Mickey when you looked at that? So to do that uh, ice cream cone with the mask, you're going to start with your top image. Now, I haven't done this before, so we'll just see how it ends up. You're going to start with your top image. Hey, Beth Bishop. How are you? Okay. And then I'm going to put my mask on there. And I'm going to clean my stamp. And I'll get another color. This one's terracotta tile. And I'll stamp... 
again. Okay. Oh, my mask came off with it. So now I'm going to put my mask here. Well, Beth, I'm really glad that you are here. I appreciate it. Maybe once all this COVID stuff is over, we can get together and stamp. Wouldn't that be fun? And so I'm going to pull out another color. I'm just going to use some of the brights with this. Uh, let me claim that stamp. And so we'll ink that up. Okay, so you can see that's looking like your, your ice cream cone. So I'm going to go on down here and put my mask there again. And we will get, get uh -huh, the cone. And I'm using cinnamon cider for that. Just put that cone there. We'll leave the mask where it is, and we'll get this piece, which is the little designs on the cone. Okay. And hopefully that will that will get your ice cream if you are just stamping it like that. But let's say you don't want to stamp your ice cream cone. You want to make uh, make it with a punch. Because you've got a punch, why not use it? So let's do that. And to do that, I'm going to make a card. This is one that I've already made. I don't like all of those dots on there, so I'm going to make one that doesn't have it. And we'll see how that goes. So for that, I'm going to be using one of the Whisper White uh, note cards and envelopes. Now you can't get these right now. Uh, Whisper White has retired and uh, I tried to order some of these a while ago. I couldn't get them. Uh, they have a new color called Basic White and it's not available yet either. So but these will be in as soon as they can uh, get everything together. Uh, I think it was kind of a quick thing. The company that milled our white for us, our Whisper White, has uh, closed due to COVID. So I'm going to bring in my papers. And you remember there's one that I told you would be really, really good for the ice cream cone. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to stick this in here like this so that I don't waste a lot of paper. So there's the cone. And then for the ice cream, I'm going to bring in these papers that we uh, that I showed you earlier and we're going to cut the cone from these, or not the cone, but the ice cream from these pieces. So I'm going to put this up in here. And let's see. I'll do one out of this. Okay, so that's a lighter color. I think I can do one out of this. Now, probably, I'll tell you, I would have cut this into strips so that I wouldn't be wasting so much paper. Uh, and then I'll do one out of this blue right here. Okay. And we will just put that together uh, on the cone. Let me get my, we're on the cord. <laughs> a little, I am a little frazzled. 
It's not easy having work people in your home all day for a couple of days. All right, and then I'm just going to build up with that one. And I'm just going to glue. The ice cream cone as I go. Now this color is purple posy. I didn't pull that color out with the inks because we don't have that. Uh, you can get that color out of paper and then out of your using blends or markers. Okay, so here is our ice cream cone, except look at that, I, I glued it upside down. I told you I was frazzled. Okay. Now, this is going to show right here. I don't have, oh, no, here's one. It's hard to say I can get that off later, but I can get it off now. And then we'll put a saying down here at the bottom on the other one I put treat yourself so I'm going to go ahead and put that on this one but I didn't like the blue I think I'm just partial to the blackberry bliss so we're going to put that on here hey Jane so there's the treat yourself and then let me talk to you about how I made this hat. I bet some of you have already figured it out. Let's see. I've got uh, this little piece right here. I think I'll just use it for the hat. And then we need a little bottom piece. So I'm going to use the um, um, punch here. And I'm going to punch something to go on the bottom of that okay I think I'm just going to do I hate to waste paper Let's see if I have something I could use laying over here no but I have a better I have a better purple thing so let me just go ahead and stamp. I'm going to put this. Normally, I would not make the stripes go in that direction. Um, and I'm going to pull my cutter over and just cut. Along there. And then we'll just put a little bit of glue. We're going to use this one. A little bit of glue along the bottom. And we'll put our little hat piece there. And then I'm going to turn it on the back and use that triangle to give me a pattern to cut that little side piece off and so here's our little hat and I'll put that on our card and then I am going to pull out one of these little pieces to go on the top of my card I had one there it's gone so I guess I rubbed it against something, but I think I'll take one of these small terracottas and put it there. And I think I like the uh, card better that does not have the sprinkles. What do you think? Which one do you like best? Sprinkles or no sprinkles? But anyway, I thought that was really cute. And before I go, I want to make one more card with you. And this is the card that I made 
ahead of time and I'm going to make some changes in this one as well. Um, I did stamp the stamp I was showing you a while ago that I thought was to make that look like two halves. Uh, not too excited about how that looks on there. Uh, but we're going to, uh, let me pull out my paper that I had for this. Okay. So this is a piece of the four and a fourth by 11 uh, thick whisper white. I'm going to pull in my trimmer and I'm going to cut off of the bottom one inch. And that's just going to give the card a little bit of a difference to it. So let me fold that in half. Hey, Tanya. I agree, Jean. I don't like it with the sprinkles. Okay. So I'm going to put a piece of, oh, and I had it all cut and ready. But, of course, it's not laying right here. Uh, so let me bring in my piece of paper that had the popsicles. And I'm going to cut a strip that is an inch and a fourth, or maybe just an inch and an eighth. Pull that out of the way. And then this is going to be four and a fourth inches wide. And I cut mine just a hair longer because uh, I want to make sure it covers the entire length. So let me glue that on. And that's going to go right on the inside of the cord. Okay. And you can see that I have it a little bit large. I'm just going to turn it over. Actually, let's see if I can pull that up even. Not yet. Not now. Okay. So let me just cut that little bit. I think I keep going off of the screen. Okay, so that's going to cover that. Now I had put a strip of this stripe on here as well. And, well, I just found them. And I don't like how thick that is. So I cut the remainder in a smaller piece. So I'm going to have to decide if I want this width or just a thin little width on it. And I'm going to go with the thin. So that looks like it's about a fourth of an inch. And I'm going to put that along this edge. And that's just to drift to make a difference, to refer, okay, make a difference between <laughs> the top layer and the bottom layer. Okay, now I'm ready to do some stamping on this. Probably should have done the stamping first, but we'll see how that goes. And I really do love this Bermuda Bay and the Blackberry Bliss together. So I'm gonna continue with that. Uh, but I might make the ice cream a little bit shorter than I did on the first one. So I kind of found it easier to start with the bottom of the ice cream. And I'm gonna pull over my chamois and make sure that I cleaned these. Okay. So I'm going to start here on the bottom with the bottom, and I'm going to start in the middle. 
And I'm just going to go ahead and do all three bottoms. And it's going to go off the edge. But I kind of like that. And I guess I'm changing the angle a little bit, but that's okay. All right. Then I'm going to come in and do the top part of my ice cream. I don't think I made that shorter actually. Oops. Now every other time I've gotten that perfect. Okay, there we go. And we'll do our sticks with the, before we do the sticks, let me put some dots on that. I, I do like the dots. So I'm going to print, pull in my uh, Blackberry Bliss and put a few dots on here. We'll do our, start to say stems, we'll do our sticks. Okay, on the other one, I ran out of space. And I didn't want to do that on this one. Okay, and let me find my detail. Okay, now here is another point where I meant to have a sponge dauber with me, and uh, that was in doing the drips, trying to find the drip stamp. In doing the drips, I thought it would have been really cute to go ahead and ink your drip and then take your sponge dauber into a little bit of the bliss and just right along the bottom, sponge some additional color on that before you stamp it. So I think that would look really, really good. But I think since I don't have it, I'm going to wait and do that when I do. Okay. And then I really do like this happy birthday that they have with this set. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that up at the top. Looks like I've got, oops, well there you go, Joanne. Well, I can't believe that came up. Yay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and ink up. Happy birthday, and put that across the top. I usually line my cards up on my grid paper. I didn't that time. Okay, there's my happy birthday. And then I had done the Hope It's Sweet under that, but I'm going to tell you that I did not like the way my words ran into each other. So I don't want to do that again. We'll try the Blackberry Bliss and, or not Blackberry Bliss, Bliss but <laughs> Bermuda Bay. And I'll stamp this, happy birthday, hope it's sweet. And I'm gonna put that down here. Yeah, that's much better. So there's the card with um, with the uh, width of this paper changed a little and the placement of that changed a little. And uh, I did do the inside with the treat yourself and... Uh, 
another popsicle, but you've seen me do that, so you don't need to see me do it again. So these are the cards that we made today, this one and this one. These are the ones that we made. Uh, let me be honest with you and tell you I did not pick a winner for this week. Uh, I will go back and do that and send it. And Tanya, you were the winner for the week before, and I haven't mailed it yet. I'm just, uh, I don't know what it is. I think that COVID is getting to me and just the worry and the change in Christmas and some of that stuff. So uh, please forgive me. And I will uh, send these cards to someone whose name I draw who uh, will... Uh, comment on this post today. <coughs> Excuse me. So thank you. Uh, again, we went over the uh, ice cream corner suite that's going to be in the new catalog. I feel a cough coming on, so I'm going to say goodbye. Have a good rest of the day. Bye-bye.